right, so the last phase of this project is to go ahead and run this wire to the new breaker that we're gonna put in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this cover off and we'll expose all the breakers. take out this little protective piece here because this is where the breaker is going to go. Go ahead and take this cover off. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this breaker right in this line right here. It's a 20 amp circuit breaker and what we did was we ran a 12 gauge wire. That's what's going to supply the voltage to that microwave outlet. Sometime during the day today, my guys got in here and ran this wire and Installed the box and outlet. We'll go ahead and knock out one of the knockouts up the top of this box. We'll put a strain relief in so that this wire doesn't go anywhere. Because the last thing you want to do is slip this wire down in that panel without putting a strain relief on it because you don't want it moving around around that metal opening because it's going to cut that jacket and you're going to have a short. Put in one of these strain reliefs. You know, I may not be calling it the right thing, but that's what you want to do is to put this in the panel, run your wire down through it, tighten it up. That wire is not going to move and that keeps it from shorting out against that sharp metal panel in the future. We'll get started on that. We'll knock that knockout up and uh, get it going. All right, so if I can get a good picture of it right there, these little knockout plates you see right here, we're going to knock out probably this one right here in the middle of the panel. And then we'll put that strain relief in and we'll lock it down just like you see this little nut that's holding this one in. We're going to do the same thing right here with that little one to make sure that that wire is secure. What you want to do with this is go ahead and take that nut off now put this down on the top going down and then take this nut feed it in the bottom tighten it up it ain't going nowhere now what we can do is take the end of this wire, feed it down through that and just be careful that you don't skim that wire going through there. Give it, help it through, feed it in slowly. You don't want to skim that wire up. And I know I got a lot of extra wire here. Probably didn't need all of that, but uh, it's better to have too much when you're doing this than not have enough. All right, so that's run down in there. And now what we want to do is go ahead and tighten these two screws on that wire so that that wire doesn't move none at all. And I'm going to show you guys this screwdriver tip, if it'll focus in on it is a square tip. It's made specifically for this, where you can get that thing inside that little hole and it's better than a Phillips head. It's better than a straight head. All right, try to make sure that you do this equal distance apart so that everything gets tight like it's supposed to be. Good and tight. Now we are secure to our panel with that wire restraint fitting that we got there. Now all we gotta do now is just strip this wire back, make it pretty just like what the electricians did originally, and we will be good to go. Now we've got our wires all skinned back. We can go ahead and separate things. We want to put our ground wire over here, out of the way. 
because we're going to tie into the ground wire bar right here. And all these are empty right here, so I'm just going to go ahead and just put it right here. So I'll cut this back, skin back about an inch worth of casing around that wire. Our black wire, we'll go ahead and pull it up here nice and neat. We're going to put it in down here, so we're going to fold this over to go right there into the breaker. Like so. Alright, so we'll skin these wires back and get them set. So I got my 20 amp breaker here. I'm not going to put this in until I get my neutral and my ground wires hooked up. So for my neutral wire, I'll go ahead and loosen the screw. Then I'm going to put that in. I'm going to be careful and be mindful that you don't get the, the screw tightening down on any of the, pla or the rubber plastic casing you want to get all wire. So just tighten that up. Alright, we're nice and straight there. So let's go ahead and clean this wire up. Then we'll go ahead and position our ground wire. Looks like this one. And I don't need all this excess. So I'm going to figure out how much I need for that one. And I'm going to cut it off right there. Now if you're unsure about this, you might want to shut the power off to the whole panel outside at the, at the meter. For safety reasons, you might want to go ahead and shut it down. Alright, make sure that that's in there good. Go ahead and tighten down on that. We got a good neutral, we got a good ground. Go ahead and straighten this up, make it nice and neat. Alright, now all we got to do is go ahead and wire in this 20 amp breaker. There's a screw here on the back side of it. I'm going to go ahead and loosen that up. Then you can set your wire in under the plate. Tighten that up. You want to look in there and make sure that you got a good connection. You want to make sure it's good and tight because you don't want any problems with that later down the line. All right, so we've got that hooked up. Then go ahead and clip this breaker in place. Like so. I'm leaving it off for the time being because now I want to take the panel that goes in front of this and tear off that one tab that this breaker is going to be sitting in. Okay, now we're at the breaker panel itself. And uh, this is what we got. So we want to take this bar off. And that's pretty simple. You just want to take your pliers and twist up. Twist it back and forth. So it breaks off. Now we've just made room for that microwave breaker. One of the other things you want to do is that your breaker panel is labeled with what every circuit does. We just popped off a little protective tab for slot number 20. and We want to make sure we write on there microwave. But first, we're going to put the panel back on. Here's something I want to bring to your attention. It's going to be kind of hard to focus in, but this is a Klein 11-in-1 screwdriver and it's got 11 different bits on it, which is pretty cool. One of the things that's cool is these little square bits that are inside of there. This is the screw for that breaker panel. And if you ever see one of these, it's got a square right in the middle of it, which is pretty cool because then you can take the square bit that's on your Klein 11-in-1 and it fits perfectly. So when it comes to taking those panels off, when it comes to tightening screws on outlets, this is a must have. Make sure you get you one of these Kleins. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. This is a Klein number 32500. Also, 
I'm going to tell you this right now. When it comes to putting these breaker panels back together, make sh make sure that you're putting all the screws back. There's six holes. Make sure you're putting six screws in. You don't want to do this job halfway. Wiring done for the microwave, the breakers in the breaker panel. And now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and plug up the microwave into the outlet. And then I'm gonna turn the breaker on and see what we got. I know I got the breaker set perfectly. All the wiring is done the way it's supposed to be. All we gotta do now is turn on the breaker. Number 20. I heard a beep. So now all we gotta do now is just set the clock and we're good to go. One step closer to completion, but that's how you wire in a microwave in the place of a hood. And I'm gonna tell you right now, do it right. Don't halfway do this job. When it comes to electrical, you wanna make sure that everything is the way it's supposed to be so that you don't burn your house down or you don't burn somebody else's house down. You guys be safe out there, be kind to one another and be patient. And I'll see you soon. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to check this next video out. And if you would, hit that little round icon up there with my cute little face in it. That way you can subscribe to the channel and you'll be sure not to miss a thing. And as always, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you soon.